Hello everyone. Uh, now we'll be looking through this switching modulator, which is another method of generation of an AM signal. As we know that in generation of an AM signal, two signals are required. One is the modulating signal X of T and another one is the carrier signal C of T, which is represented as AC cos of 2 pi FCT. This diode is acting as a switch. These two signals are being summed in a summer and that is being fed to an input of a diode. So this signal is called as V1 of T. Now we can represent V1 of T as V1 of T equals X of T plus AC cos of 2 pi FCT. Name it as equation 1. This diode is acting as a switch. That is for positive half cycle the switch will be closed which means that it is forward biased, which offers zero impedance. For the next cycle, this switch will be open, which means that this diode is reverse biased and which offers infinite impedance. That is, mathematically we can represent V2 of T as V2 of T is equals to V1 of T for C of T which is greater than zero. And V2 of T is equal to 0 for C of T which is less than 0. That is, it is nothing but V2 of T is nothing but V1 of T multiplied by a train of pulses. So that is, V2 of T can be expressed as V1 of T into GP of T. So what is that GP of T? GP of T is nothing but a periodic pulse wherein the duty cycle is equal to T0 divided by 2, where the T0 is nothing but 1 over Fc. So now we are having V2 of T is equals to V1 of T into Gp of T. Now substitute V1 of T. So therefore this V2 of T is equal to what is V1 of T? V1 of T is nothing but X of T plus AC cos of 2 pi Fct. Substitute that one that is not V1 of T into Gp of T. Name this as equation 1. Now, representing this Gp of T in Fourier series, we can write down as Gp of T is equal to 2 by pi summation of n is equals to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 2n minus 1 cos of 2 pi Fct into 2n minus 1. That is, gp of t is expressed as 1 by 2 solving this 2 by pi cos of 2 pi fct plus odd harmonic components. Now, substituting in equation 1, that is whatever we have got that v2 of t, that is v2 of t is equals to, this is v1 of t into gp of t. So, what is gp of t? gp of t is equals to half plus 2 by pi cos of 2 pi fct. Now, solving this, so x of t, x of t divided by 2 ac cos of 2 pi fct plus 2 by pi x of t cos of 2 pi fct plus 2 by pi ac cos square of 2 pi fct. Once we observe this equation, so here v2 of t is equal to x of t divided by 2 which is nothing but a scaled version of modulating signal. And next one is AC by 2 cos of 2 pi FCT is again the scaled carrier signal. And here we are having an required AM wave with the side bands. And the last term is nothing but a second harmonics of a carrier signal. Now all these signals are not required for us. So therefore passing these signals through a band pass filter will be getting output V2 of T is equals to AC, AC by 2 cos of 2 pi FCT plus 2 into X of T divided by pi cos of 2 pi FCT which is nothing but this is an carrier signal and this is an AM wave. So here taking this AC by 2 common will be getting 1 plus 4 by pi AC X of T cos of 2 pi FCT. So here V2 of T is equal to AC by 2 plus 1 plus Ka X of T cos of 2 pi FCT. This is the final equation that's been required where K is nothing but a constant which is given by Ka is equals to 4 divided by pi AC. 
This equation V2 of t can be compared with the standard AM equation that is S of t is equals to AC into 1 plus KA M of t cos of 2 pi FCT. Now we can observe that this equation 5 and the standard equations are same. Therefore, this is an efficient way of generating an AM signal. Thank you.